you need to put on your seatbelt because today's apartment's not something you see every day. This two bedroom, two bath is 44 floors up. It's over a thousand square feet, has all high end finishes, along with some of the most iconic views of lower Manhattan you're ever gonna get. If you're gonna spend 6,300 a month on something, why not spend it here on this? All right, here we are in the financial district at Wall Street, where you will find the stock exchange. If you work down here, you'll be able to walk. We're also by Federal Hall, where you can see George Washington and this equinox, which George Washington would advise you against joining because I'm pretty sure it's a cult. This over here looks like a shopping mall. Check this out. There's a subway restaurant in the entrance to the actual subway. You see it right down here? I guess that location's advantageous. We're also by the Oculus. This is connected to that mall we just saw. It's kind of like a giant spaceship. There's an Apple store, expensive footwear, expensive handbags, and coming soon there will be overpriced fake coffee. But once you get away from all that, you will find local restaurants and places to hang out. Over here you've got a boba cafe and a tea place. Pork belly, I would pick that one. Over here you've got local Indian. And next to that we've got an Irish bar. Which proudly serves white cloth. What is happening to the Irish? This says it's the Alexander Hamilton Tavern. And over here we've got Morton's Steakhouse. You've got to try George's if you're ever down here. Great casual spot, been in the neighborhood forever. This Mexican place next door, I've heard great things, but I haven't been myself. And somewhere under here, there's a bar somewhere. All right, that's the door. It's closed, obviously, because it's 9.45 in the morning. That makes sense. That right there is the tower we're headed to. The Lower floors here are for the hotel, but as a resident, you use this second entrance right here and you get to go up to the top. This is awesome. Just look at that view. You're basically neighbors with One World Trade, and there's not really any part of the neighborhood that you can't see directly. The roof on that building looks pretty cool. Now we're facing north, and since this is a corner unit, we also face west. When the sun sets in the evening, that is gonna fill this room up. Now, this is not your typical rental apartment. This is a condo, which means you're not renting from some big corporation that doesn't care about who lives here. It's one owner, and I was told that all the furniture that we're gonna see in here comes with the place if that's what you want. On the way to the roof deck, there's a game room. You could hustle your neighbors at pool to help pay your rent. If you find yourself here and you're struggling financially, you can hang out here and see the Statue of Liberty way off in the distance and pretty much everything else. You've got a direct view of One World Trade and all of that is Midtown Manhattan. That right there is the Empire State off in the distance. Now the cool thing about this is there's tables and chairs, so if you want to hang out or just relax, read a book, whatever, you can do that. If your dermatologist misses you, you could sit here in the sun and work on your tan. Now this direction faces west, so you can catch the sunset. And experience a rather depressing view of where I used to work and New Jersey. Not sure which of those two gets me less excited. That looks comfortable, but the view's very distracting. If you're sitting here trying to work remotely, I don't know how you're going to get anything done. This is what floor? 31? So this is the 31st floor, there's a movie room. If you make horrible YouTube videos, you could torture your friends by making them watch. I should move in here. There's also this entire floor of like, just hangout space. There's places to sit, there's a kitchen. Does the common kitchen have a sink sprayer? Yes, it does. This is where the gym is located. That's cool, they got plenty of machines in here. And there's even a scale so you can see how you did at the end of the workout. Now, best of all, there's also a sauna. Right over here, check this out. 
if you have fun watching this, hit that thumbs up and definitely subscribe. I make tours like this every single week and I don't want you to miss one. Right after you walk in, the kitchen and living space are this way and both bedrooms and bathrooms are down the hall in the opposite direction. This is a ton of space, 18 feet, nine inches by 16 feet, four inches. And I love how in addition to a nice big living room setup with this couch, these two chairs and that TV, there's also this dining table for eight people. If you have no friends, this is isn't gonna matter to you. But after you rent this place, I'm sure at least someone's gonna wanna come over and check it out. Also, I love this shelving built into the wall. That would look kind of boring, but now it looks awesome. And delicate. Also, check out how wide the window sills are. I'm thinking you could put some pillows or something in this corner right here and make this like a cool hangout space. The kitchen here is absolutely amazing. I love how it's completely flat against this wall. This lets it be pretty big and take up almost no space. You've got a high-end oven with four burners burners. Above that, there's a vent. That looks like a microwave. There's a dishwasher hidden away here. And this right here is the fridge tucked away and out of sight. What do we have over here? Oh, sweet. This is where the laundry machines are. Cabinet space is also really good. And if you replace this Ninja with a Keurig, these LED lights will shine down upon it, letting everyone know that you've got terrible taste in coffee. I think the current setup here is much better. Oh, and I almost forgot. Yes, there's a sink sprayer. Let's check out the bedrooms. This looks like the bigger of the two because it's got its own bathroom. But look at this view. This is incredible. If you sleep here every morning, you can wake up to that. This bedroom's 15 feet, one inch by 11 feet, seven inches. And we've got one, two, three closets. Now, the last time I toured a place here, I didn't point out that the bathrooms all have pocket doors. So you can close this off to get some privacy, but this is great. There's a huge tub, which looks insanely comfortable. If you're not a bath person, there's also a standing shower. And this looks like the world's largest medicine cabinet. Okay, that is a lot of bathroom storage. And I like how there's lights around it. Now the second bedroom is this guy right over here. Perhaps this is a little bit less exciting than what we just saw, but the view is exactly the same. The room itself, 10 feet, three inches by 11 feet, seven inches. It fits a queen bed, no problem, but this could also be a really good home office. Office. Instead of this, you could have a desk and a workstation. Because if you make this a guest bedroom, that means you're gonna have guests and they won't wanna leave. This place is too nice. There's a closet here as well, which is the exact same size as the three closets in the first room. Now the main bathroom for the apartment is across the hall. So if someone is staying there, it's just a quick walk over here to get to this. And even though there's no tub, the shower looks bigger. Is this a two-person shower? In New York City, I think every shower is a two-person shower. Guys, if you want to rent this place, talk to Luca or Sophia. I'll put their information down in the video description. After that, pick another apartment tour and I'll see you in the next video.